Well, a storm system making its way across the southern plains and Texas is going to continue to draw in moisture and increase cloud cover for us in our forecast tonight, tomorrow, and into Tuesday. Sorry about that. 72 degrees overnight tonight. Isolated drizzle in spots. It could happen. Southeast wind 10 to 15 miles an hour dying down 5 to 10 miles an hour by sunrise. Lots of clouds for sunrise and heading out the door in the morning. 72 to 73 degrees from 7 to 8 a.m. Mostly cloudy skies, certainly. And then heading on into the noon hour, 80 to 82 degrees, but the southeast winds are going to crop up again as we wait for that next storm system to unfold across Texas. We're looking at 15 to 25 miles an hour and 88 degrees by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So despite the clouds, we're still going to be on the warm side for tomorrow, above normal as a matter of fact. Southeast wind 15 to 25, gusting to 35, so we'll call it a breezy day. And that includes Hidalgo County with 89 for McAllen and Edinburgh, 88 at Westlaco. All right, it's going to be tomorrow that solar eclipse is going to unfold across the region. We have anywhere from 85 to 90 percent coverage with the shadow of the moon on the earth. So we would see if, it was, if we had clear enough skies, we would see a pretty decent event. But, uh, you know, I just don't think it's going to happen. Here's the mechanism again. The moon gets between the sun and the earth. So it casts a shadow. This is no different than you casting a shadow on the sidewalk in the late afternoon. And again, it will, that shadow will make its way from Texas on up in toward uh, Ontario, Canada. So a lot of folks from Arkansas and Kentucky and Texas and whatnot are going to get to have a great view of this thing if the clouds can break enough on ahead of the storm system. But for us, mostly cloudy skies, you betcha. 85 at 1.30 in the after, early afternoon tomorrow. Uh, mostly cloudy, we'll call it, and breezy, yep. Southeast wind 15 to 25, gusting to 35. But the breeze doesn't have anything to do with your viewing pleasure. What has to do with it is the cloud cover, and that's the problem. Now, rainfall opportunities for the next several days remain at zero. But tonight, uh, a little mist maybe, and then Tuesday night, we're going to have that opportunity with the uh, front moving through, but nothing during the day. So let's look at Tuesday. Here you see Tuesday on in through the evening. There it comes into Wednesday morning, 1 a.m., and there's our chance for rain and rumbles as the front moves through. Uh, Storm Prediction Center has us in the general thunderstorm category, so it's not a big deal. We're just expecting a chance for some showers, which will unfold into a beautiful rest of the day Wednesday with low humidity and 88. Just gorgeous. And temperatures on down in through the 80s the rest of the week and into next weekend. Yeah, we give you next weekend here at CBS4. We love weekends, so we go ahead and do it as much as we can. And the overnight lows will cooperate as well. So the front moving through on Tuesday night is the big, big story here. But of course, the other story is the fact that the cloud cover ahead of the front is going to spoil your view of the eclipse tomorrow more than likely. Well, all the Eclipse fans would be a little disappointed, but... A lot of them. They'll be okay, yeah. yeah. They'll survive. Yep. Fingers crossed. All right, we are talking all about sports after the break. Our Blake Holland is tracking those big games for us coming up after this.